Okay. Um, all right. Looks like we are stable. Excellent. Um, hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. Uh, I'm playing an EIK WM France deck G4 G5 4 with uh, Joe, Ray Krebs, and Lady in Waiting. So a uh, very difficult game. <coughs> Three exceptionally strong players. Alright. Okay. Uh, wow, I got charcoal burner. That's pretty lucky. So I'm going to take Charcoal Burner, uh, Animal husbandry, husbandry Worker, um, Fence Delivery Man, and then probably Bargain Hunter, Wood Distributor, or Tower Builder will be the ones to go. So those two are definitely going, and then it's amongst these, those two are definitely going, and then these four. So 24601, Bargain Hunter, Tower Builder, Wood Distributor. Any of those uh, might come back to me. That looks like I am dropping some frames, which is kind of annoying. Hopefully I'm mostly stable though. Uh, so if you haven't heard, Chris is running a playtest tournament uh, tournament 11 you can go to play-agricola.com and uh, sign up on here uh, so what it is it's j3 and j3 is going to be the new um, it's going to be the new j3 deck probably it will be like a c and d expansion that's kind of the way that they've been running it where you release a bit of the A deck, A and B deck, and then you release the rest of the A and B deck as kind of expansions, and same thing with the C and D deck. So I'm not sure what exactly J3 will be called, if it's going to become part of C, part of D. I would guess that it's probably going to have a few C cards and a few D deck cards as well. But I'm not 100% sure on that. So the tournament... If you have been hesitant about playing online, for example, maybe only have a new edition of the game, the tournament format will most likely only have the new edition cards. So uh, anything post, only stuff that's post 2016. So hopefully that'll appeal to some of you. So we're waiting on Lady and Waiting to pass me a card. So uh, charcoal burner, I guess I can talk a little bit about charcoal burner. Why, why is it such an exceptional card? Um, food and a wood, whenever p any player builds a baking improvement with the bread symbol. Um, the big thing is that it include, includes the fireplaces and cooking hearse. And uh, those, if you think about it, if someone buys a fireplace and then upgrades it to a cooking hearth, that's two times. That's two wood and two food you're getting. And then there are two clay. There's the clay and stone oven, which both usually get built. So and then uh, so you're looking at about five or six payoffs. So five food, five wood throughout the game. If you're getting that, that's an exceptional return for any one action. Um, 
if you compare it to a card like Wood Collector, Wood Collector gives you five wood over the next couple rounds. Um, the end of the game wood card gives you seven wood, but this one gives you food as well, which is really outstanding. Two of the best uh, things to accumulate. So I see Contract Builder, which makes me sad because I am not so much of a fan. Um, Handmade is interesting. Dung Collector is interesting. Uh, I think probably though the best card here is Bricklayer. Bricklayer is going to make it cheaper for me to play the major improvements, which also give me wood and food when I go on them. Bricklayer is a nice card. Making clay rooms cheaper is nice too. Looking in this pack, uh, my initial reaction is Champion Breeder is the strongest card. I think there's no reason for me to take anything other than Champion Breeder. I mean, Acrobat is maybe an option. Kakot is maybe an option if you get combos. Like, all of them are okay cards, but Champion Breeder, I really don't want to pass Champion Breeder to whoever got the Dung Collector. Because, like, that's just a really good setup waiting to happen. And the Animal Husbandry Worker. Oh, wow. So we got Animal Husbandry Worker, Dung Collector, Champion Breeder. Cannot I cannot pass some Champion Breeder for sure. Because that would just be too good. The so Seasonal Worker. Good for whoever gets the Cocotte. Uh, Self-Employee. Haberdasher. I like Haberdasher. I think sewing and playing a minor improvement is a fun action. Um, I like Powerhouse. I I like Powerhouse quite a bit. Getting the getting two food per round with five stone is quite nice. Um, seasonal worker. It's a nice combo with the cocotte if it came back, especially with my brick layer. Would be a good combination. You know what though? I'm gonna take the haberdasher. I think. Bricklayer, Haberdasher, if I get some minor improvements. Yeah. Mm. You know what? Powerhouse wants me to go on Reedstone Food a lot. It's usually a good action to do. I'll take Powerhouse. Hmm. So I have a couple options here. Uh, Tower Builder rewards growing late if you have a good reason to do so. So for example, if Champion Breeder had gotten past me and then they per that person could then take Tower Builder, they might still do that anyways. Uh, but I prefer to let just let my opponents do that stuff. Um, Bargain Hunter is interesting if you don't want to go on the start player space a lot. I think Bargain Hunter has a lot of potential and is really kind of undervalued. Um, I'm going to try it with Bricklayer, maybe. It's a good option. Maybe. Um, this action... I don't really want to play any of these early. Clay Worker is probably the best card. Quarryman, though the conversion is quite bad compared to Powerhouse. So the best card here for points at the end of the game is by far Veggie Lover. So I have a couple different ways that I can take this draft, and uh, it'll mostly be determined by what minor improvements I get. So I'm eager to see what kind of miners are going to come to me. So I am keeping an eye on Twitch chat. Oh, excuse me. So if you're not already, give me a follow on Twitch. Oh, Kakot came back. Hmm. Oh well, that's fine. Oh, I take I got caught last, and I pit, get quarry. Oh man. Spare fence post, quarry, chicken coop. Pretty good. Pretty good. Actually, there are a lot of good cards in here. Bonfire is good with bargain hunter because you can skip over the first fireplace user. Chicken Coop is good with Bargain Hunter because you can play it earlier, you know. There's some good cards here. 
Um, but yeah, Cocotte plus Quarry plus Powerhouse, I have a very clear plan. I could potentially Bargain Hunter as well. If I get, if I get Miners that let me play Occupations, that might be a good combo to do Bargain Hunter. Use Bargain Hunter to play Quarry as soon as possible and then start using Cocotte as well. But yeah, having Quarry fall into my lap, very good for the powerhouse. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, obviously I have to take Clay Pit. Goldmine is an option too, but uh, I wouldn't mind someone else taking Goldmine. But yeah, this is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. Two food, three stone, three clay on the day labor. And then I can also play a minor or pay a food to play a major. And if I pay a food to play a major, chances are I'm triggering, char triggering charcoal burner, which gives me the food back and a wood. So it'd be quite the space I can supercharge. So the key thing here is don't get distracted by this stuff. Because if I grow late, I won't have the actions to take advantage of it. I need to make sure that I'm... I want to play to be first to family growth, I think. I think that should be a focus of, focus of mine. Make sure that I can get that first family growth. And then if I have to sit on the start player action, Corey and Clay Pit should uh, keep me getting points while I do that. This draft is going kind of slow though, unfortunately. So yeah, I have a good line here where I'll, I'll build some clay rooms for sure. Brick layer plus clay pit. It's pretty nice. The question is, so, okay, I think the big question for me is how early do I want to activate Powerhouse? Is it worth growing later if I activate Powerhouse sooner? Okay, so I see Wood-Fired Oven here. Wood-Fired Oven triggers the Charcoal Burner. Um, I don't particularly have a reason to build it myself because uh, I have no grain income, so I'm not going to have any baking this game. So Golden Rose, I think, is a better card. The alternative is Goblet. So the Well is a minor improvement. So I could use Bargain Hunter to play Goblet and then the Well and then get up to four occupations as soon as I could. So Charcoal Burner, Brick Layer, Powerhouse, Bargain Hunter maybe something like that and go for the well major go for a two-point well mm. that's an option it's definitely an option but I don't want to read stone food that much early on ah uh, it's really hard to say I think I'll just go with golden rose I think I will just go with golden rose Thing is, I really want to be careful not to gimp my whole game going for like kind of niche strategies. I still want to make sure that I have lots of actions and good feeding. And in order to do that, I need to make sure that I have, um, I grow relatively early. I do want to make sure I go for like the potter, pottery and stuff like that. Pottery is going to be so good for me. Okay, um, well, Sunday school. Sunday school with Bargain Hunter is kind of what I'm looking for. 
Uh, Whale Oil with Bargain Hunter is actually pretty good as well. Dragonfly Pond with Bargain Hunter, all pretty reasonable cards. Um, I did say I'm looking for stuff that lets me play Miners out of order, so I think Sunday School is the way to go here. I could have taken whale oil. Whale oil would have been an option too, since I want to play a couple occupations early. I'll need food. The alternative is I go for the earliest possible golden rose. Golden rose makes Sunday school free and it makes all my occupations free. So I just do plow, grain, sow, and then bargain hunter, golden rose. Yeah, that's like three actions though for what is essentially a bunch of food. Mm. I might have screwed up this draft. I'm not sure about Golden Rose in Sunday School as picks. Mm. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to see. So uh, Bonfire with uh, Bargain Hunter is a nice combination because I can look like I can't do anything with animals, but then I can Bargain Hunt Bonfire. Similarly with Huntsman's Rifle, but that comes later. Baker's Oven is a nice upgrade for the charcoal burner, so that's actually a reasonable option. But I don't have a way of baking with it, so I think Bonfire is the way to go here. And this card is definitely Sack Cart. Okay. I have some reason to go for baking now. Yeah. And this one is... Oh, wow. It could be Goblet or Wood-Fired Oven. Hmm. I want to think about how my early game is going to work. I need food. I'm going to need food. So if I first action Bargain Hunter, second action 3 Wood... Then Bargain Hunter plays um, Sunday School. So I will still have two actions in round two, which I need to probably get food with. Sunday School would play Charcoal Burner and Kakot maybe. You know, I think this goblet line is pretty good, so it's worth taking the goblet here. Wood-fired oven is, an, is a good option for me as well. So it's kind of hard because that wood-fired oven could also be good value for me. Because it's two wood and a stone for two points. And I would have gotten a bake out of it. And I can play it out of turn. Oh, uh, Joe has the Dancer. I would have liked the Dancer to come back, actually. But the fact that it didn't is okay. Alright, good luck. I think I'm going to need it in this game. <laughs> I think this is going to be a tough one. No occupation round one for me. It's a little unfortunate, but Reedstone food is a good action. Second action, I can always first move Sunday school, or sorry, second action, I can Sunday school and then first action occupation. That's an option. That is an option. So we have Dancer and Chemist. Dancer, I've played a bunch recently, but I'll highlight the Chemist in particular.
So I could two wood, but uh, I'm gonna say wood sucks and Sunday school here. So I only get one action next round. So is there any way for me to get powerhouse, a powerhouse food, house food here? If I get reedstone food, reedstone food, yes. Um, if I end round two with three plate occupations, round four, yeah, there's no way I can get powerhouse before round four, or before round five. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to get it. So that's fine. Um, play my free occupation. And my free occupation will be, you know what? I am going to play um, Bargain Hunter here. No, you know what? No. No, I'm not. I'm going to play Kakot. No, I'm going to play Charcoal Burner. Because it's possible that the two clay fireplace gets played early here. So then my two occupations will be Bricklayer and Cocotte. Ray Krebs with two reeds. So Ray is looking like he's going to build that first room. Okay, Acrobat for Joe, that's fun. It's a fine combination. And no one's built the fireplace yet, but that's okay. It'll come at some point. Yeah, I don't want to play Bargain Hunter. I want to play Kakot because Kakot lets me go on day labor, get uh, two food, a wood, and, the fi and a fireplace, which is an excellent action. Because I'm probably going to need a food action anyway, so going on day labor and also being able to build a fireplace is a great, great sequence. Lady in Waiting playing Bookmark. Unfortunately, none of my miners. Um, fortunately, none of my miners cost clay, but that's okay. So, uh, if Lady in Waiting passes it to me, I will happily read stone food. Engineering apprentice for Lady in Waiting. Okay, building a stable. Sure. So yeah, I will uh, read stone food. Yeah, 
do I, I could bargain hunter here. It is still, no, no, I can't bargain hunter here. What am I thinking? Stay focused. I cannot play bargain hunter here. I don't have enough food to do it. That's the problem. I'm trying to do this stuff like too early. No, just eyes on the prize. Build up my combo. Ray Krebs is going to be the first to grow up build, so it's unlikely that I'm going to be able to grow all that early. Joe playing fence delivery men. I kind of highlighted that already. I guess I should highlight engineering apprentice. So if you've never seen me played with lady in waiting before, she has some bug and it seems to be unique to her but everything happens for her twice so round number three started like a minute ago but for whatever reason everything lady in waiting does happens twice in chat it's really a very strange phenomenon um so i'm playing clay pit here because i want to get my quarry out so i get food food and I play clay pit there's gonna be a bunch of good wood actions but I think I'm probably gonna get one of them actually Ray what will Ray do hard to say actually hard to say what Ray Krebs will do He did three wood, okay, that's fine, yeah. Joe will probably dance, jump to grain, or jump to plow. Oh, he's saying I changed his start player. Oh. Kinda late for that, but okay. I guess he has public forest, so it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does make sense for him to go. That means he only has two wood. Why? Well, he's looking at the fact that he's going to get a good, good wood action no matter what. So. He's probably going to get six wood and then build room as his sequence. Which is a good spot to be in. Oh, Joe's got animal pen. Nice. <laughs> that change. Joe is sad that he changed. But, uh, oh, wow, self-employee. Self-employee would have been good for me, too. Self-employee plus cocot, like bricklayer, charcoal burner. That's enough for my quarry right there. Oh, well. I would have, I mean, I need the food, so... Playing stuff that actually helps me is nice as well. But yeah, Animal Pen, round three, pretty good. So these guys probably all take wood, and so then I will, what will I do? I'll play Occupation Powerhouse, probably. Oh, Joe's going for food, okay. I'll take wood then, definitely. Definitely. Happy to take wood. Don't get... Yeah, I have to be careful. This is a trap I will criticize others for. I have to be careful not to get in too narrow-minded on one path. Four wood's available. I should be taking four wood. Four wood is an excellent action. If my powerhouse comes two rounds later, that's probably fine because I honestly want to go on day labor a lot this game. Like having to do an extra couple, two food actions will probably be fine because they're going to get me a lot of uh, value, I think. 
So Ray needs to build a room here. If he doesn't build a room, he's vulnerable to Lady in Waiting building a major improvement and then me building. So Ray should be building a room with this action. And then Joe, it's hard to tell what Joe will do. Joe might to read. He might for food fishing. He might read stone food. He might occupation. All of those are potentials. Although I don't think he would have taken any more early game occupations just looking at the way his draft is already. Ooh, this is kind of greedy from Ray. Ray not building a room. So yeah, so if, if Lady in Waiting builds the fireplace, which I expect her to at some point, she might be in trouble. Or the other thing is Lady in Waiting might start player. Or Joe might start player, and then I can take wood by doing um, day labor plus fireplace. So, oh, that's right. This card is out there. Oh, yeah. So eight food instead of a room. So dance twice, and you get enough food for your stuff yeah which is if you compare dancing twice to how many actions I need to build one room it's three actions usually two wood actions one read action um, yeah it's a bonus so there should be a lot of food sucked out of the game because people are contract building. Oh, lady, lady, going for the read. Okay. So, unfortunately, there's no way for me to start player jump over them. I will grab, oh, I could play sack cart is an option. No, I don't need to. I will play food, food, clay, wood, net, ff, cc, wood. It's a pretty good action. And feed four. And now I'm in control of those that first clay grab, or first sheep grab. Of course, it's not as good in a round four sheep game, but it's still nice. So Ray getting to build the first room in round five is a nice position to be in. Saves him on start player actions. So I want to first move occupation, powerhouse, second move, day labor, quarry. That's what I'm looking at. Because the rest of the actions on the board are not that good. Five food is pretty good, especially with contract builder out, but... Mm. build room space. Lady in waiting plays occupation drinker of absinthe. Whoops. Totally fine card. Totally fine. Nothing too spectacular about it. I mean it doesn't give you that much of a, of a payout but the fact that you don't have to do anything for it. Like compared to my powerhouse, if my powerhouse gives me two food per round it's obviously better but the powerhouse has been a lot more work to set up. So I wonder if Lady in Waiting will grab um, the three sheep next round. She might. She might. So 
at the moment my well my goblet well planning Ray Krebs is one Reedstone food action away he might do it Reedstone food is a pretty good action so we might see him do it second move and if that happens then very unlikely that I get the well because he'll probably be in a good spot to do it She put her drinker of absence stuff out. So now she's thinking probably. Need to remember that Ray Krebs has a Sunday school that I passed that to him. She's gotten a lot of work out of her um, chemist so far. This is a supremely weird game, and you know what? Contract Builder does that. Contract Builder lets you do something that no other card does. It lets you convert food to building resources at a pretty good rate. So, yeah. In a late sheep game, though, that's pretty good. That's kind of weird. But Animal Pen injects a lot of food. Drink of Absinthe does, Powerhouse does. Even me with what I'm doing, I'm putting a lot of extra food into the game. I get two food, I get three clay. And Lady in Waiting did go for the sheep, as I correctly guessed that she would. So I guess I kind of have the option to do stuff in whatever order I want. Like, if I really want the well, I can build the well this round. Because Ray Krebs is obligated to... Oh, he's not even obligated to first action. Family growth. Mm. Shit, I just spilled water all over myself. Wow. Yeah, so Ray Krebs is in such a good position, he doesn't even have to first action family growth. Yikes. Yikes. That's kind of scary.
I wonder if Lady in Waiting will start player into family into build a room. Because Joe can't block the build room space at all. But I guess she won't because if she does, then I get um I build a room. Like if Lady in Waiting start players here, I build a room and then it falls into my lap. So I think that probably means that Joe is in an excellent position. That his second action is going to be contract builder and he's not going to need to start player action to, to well unless lady in waiting builds a room here it's hard to say what will happen i guess still hard to say hmm interesting she's going for wood well okay i mean i don't mind doing a start player action So let's do it. Let's build a room. I spilled water all over my chair. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. are down in the laundry. It's the, uh, what did Nathan say? Not icing on the cake, but icing on the something else? I don't remember. I'm going to have to look that up. He made some funny comment about screwing up a colloquialism. Dragonfly Pond for Ray. So yeah, Ray's in a good spot. He has really good resources. He hasn't played many occupations, but Sunday School let him catch up in that. Joe saying change of plans. What change of plans might that be, I wonder? Ah, not building rooms. Excellent. Excellent. So that means my uh, build room action is safe next round. So if I want to, I can um, build the well here. No, I can't. I don't have any wood. What am I saying? But I probably will occupation... You know what? I don't have any miners that I can play on family growth. So probably I should occupation and trigger charcoal burner so I get a wood and then I can use that wood to play for pay for bonfire or goblet, for example. Both of those would be fine options. Yeah, this is a weird game. Weird game. Dancer doesn't need to build cooking implements, which is bad for me. Like, there's just a lot of badness so uh, let's build this for um, one clay I get um, two food a wood and uh, three stone and so then I powerhouse and I get start player at the start of next round wait how many clay did I take? I should only take one clay. I think I took two clay. No, I only took one. Good. So I get powerhouse, FF. Net, at FF, wood, clay, SSS, FP. Whoops. So yeah, this is a really good spot that I'm in now because then I can like upgrade them for free and accumulate clay if I want to. This is a really ridiculous game. Like there's going to be, Ray Krebs is going to get his second six wood action. That's how st stupid this game is. He's going to get his second six wood action of the game.
I would like to get the well. If I get the well, my happiness about how this game is going goes up dramatically. I could do it. I could first move build the well. But I think probably Joe is going to contract build. I think probably Lady in Waiting. Ah, oh, Lady in Waiting might take Reed and then build two rooms. There's still... Yeah. I don't know. Man, this is a ridiculous game. This game is just ridiculous. I would like to be able to goblet into the well. Because it gains me six food for the cost of one wood. And uh, with contract builder out, I want wood rather than, or food rather than resources. But uh, we shall see. I'm surprised we haven't seen Animal Husbandry Worker yet. I imagine Ray Krebs probably is sitting on it. Oh, man, Joe. <laughs> so Joe's going to be able to build three rooms at once if he chooses to. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty silly game. So Lady in Waiting, I think, is taking three read here. I think. And if she takes three read, then I'll build... Uh, I'll build the well. Okay. Well, the well is useful. And... Uh, I don't get to play a minor on family growth, but the well is a good improvement to have. It's a lot of points. One, so I get only net one food, and I put out one, two, three, four, five, and I get three stone and three clay. Net. F C C C Maybe someone will build a major improvement. But yeah, uh, the day labor spot is so good for me now. I'm accumulating clay, which I can use that clay to build cooking hearse. I can build clay oven stone oven so at this point for the rest of the game i'm going on day labor every action because day labor is getting me a major improvement plus and the resources to build them like i'm going for clay oven stone oven pottery cooking the cooking hearse i'm gonna go for all the major resources and just starve the rest of the players out of them which is pretty silly but uh it's what i'm gonna do And there should be enough good resource actions that I can afford to because it's a weird game. This is such a weird game. Joe, finally he's building, doing his contract builder stuff. Oh, maybe not. Might just do two rooms. Yeah, two rooms make sense because when he builds the third room, he can build all his stables at the same time. I don't even need to build a, I don't even need to occupy, uh, grow here, but I will anyways. I want to gain actions, so no minor, unfortunately. So fee two minus one and plus FF powerhouse.
So I'll go for Pottery next. Pottery with Clay Pit is superb. It's the next most points that I can get out of a major improvement. Because it's a five point move for me, most likely. Major, what major? Joinery. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. I wonder if he has some reason to build the joinery. But yeah, it seems kind of a strange one to me. I guess it doesn't feed me at all, but if he doesn't feed me, I'm just going to build it myself. Like, that's the thing. These guys either trigger my charcoal burner from their moves, or I trigger it myself when I build every way of holding an of eating animals. So, yeah. Stone for Ray Krebs. So he's looking at um, renovating this round, I'm sure, with his indentured uh, servant, I would guess. Four wood, first action, if it comes back to me. I would like four wood. Joe might take it. Joe might dance. Hard to say what Joe will do. Hard to say. I think what I'm looking at is I'm looking at how do I build clay rooms? Do I contract build them? Do I build them normally? Those are kind of the questions that I'm looking at. Oh, this is a nice black swan link for Joe. Got five occupations played. It's a nice, uh, nice return. Um, yeah. So do I use my clay from my clay pit to build clay rooms or am I using contract builder? Contract builder is appealing because it means I don't need read. It's less appealing because it means that I need to pay a bunch of food, but I mean powerhouse getting me two food per round. Cocotte is getting me a food or two per round. I should be able to make it work. Lady in waiting took the wood. Okay, uh, do I need to do three wood? Um, sure. I think there's no reason not to. Day labor is not going to get taken, um, so that's really the only action left that I really want. Krebs going for the basket makers workshop sure yeah I don't care <laughs> I mean it's not anything that I that those are the two that I don't want I'll build the remaining five happily I will happily build the remaining five major improvements So Joe is going to um, build a room, uh, far, sorry, family growth with this action. Playing market stall. Okay. So for my miners remaining, I probably want to play Golden Rose. Bonfire is useful for just paying one wood to occupy a space. Um, sack card I probably won't play at this point. It's probably too late for it. Mm, 11, 14, I can still get two out of it, but I don't see it as, re it's not, uh, it's not better that, than the green space at this point. The only advantage is I can play it on day labor. Um, and then of course, goblet, goblet not getting played. So, uh, F, C, S. Oh, 
Oh, manservant. Okay. So he's gonna get five food for- Oh my- the, am <laughs> the amount of crap we're injecting into this game is unreal. Nothing I want particularly badly, so I will plow a field. Because, why not? And I'll plow it up here, I guess. Beside my house. Sure. Yeah, so the 11 extra food, two from indentured servant, three from manservant, and that's five, drinker of absence, six, three from dancer, which is nine, and then two from powerhouse, which is 11, which is a large amount of food to be injecting into the game. I'm also the only person who can eat those sheep right now. So for to me, looking at those four sheep, that's a room. That's what I see right now, is a room. Wow, Joe didn't first action family growth. He didn't first action sheep. He went first action, read stone food. I wonder if he's going for the clay oven. Uh, if he's going for the clay oven, I should deny it from him. I should deny it from Lady in Waiting as well, actually. Although Lady in Waiting has no grain to bake, so it's less of an issue for her. But if I do this, I totally screw these two from being able to feed late in the game. and um, Which probably helps Ray Krebs a lot. But it would help me too, right? Nice move here from Lady in Waiting. So I get net FF Wood SS. Oh, I get clay. So I get a clay. I forgot about uh, brick layer. Ray Krebs taking three wood. That's fine. That is fine. I'm going to keep humming along with my one food per day labor action. <laughs> or one food per day labor action. Oh, man. This is pretty silly. Joe with chicken coop? Okay. So that's why I read stone food, because he wanted to play chicken coop. So Lady in Waiting builds three rooms here pretty sure. Oh, she's on Woodsaw. So Woodsaw can build rooms without an action. So that's nice. I forgot about that. I forgot about that card even existing, honestly. Um, so that's handy for her. So I want to build rooms. So three read is the way I build rooms with resources. Contract builder is the way I do it otherwise. Animal husbandry worker, okay.
So I'll probably grab sheep with one of my actions. And then do I plow with an action? I definitely grab sheep because I want to take them away from lady in waiting. So one on my farm and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Nope, that's too many. I should only get six. One, two, three, yeah, one, two, three, four, yes. I also will eat a clay every every harvest as well with my pottery for sure. Yeah, I think it's going to be worth This is hard to re this, Okay, so the thing is I have way more stone than I need. So I could absolutely afford to build a stone room normally. The problem is uh, that means I need reed. So is it easier for me to get reed or is it easier for me to get extra uh, food? That's a hard situation to figure out. For food clay, one, two, one, two. And because I get two food power. Yeah, I've like I'm sitting with fifteen food on my farm. I'm gonna pick up another six this har this before the next harvest. Which is pretty ridiculous. But of course that slows down towards the end of the game, right? Because my well will run out and my powerhouse will only trigger once in round fourteen before the last harvest. So I want to be ahead of the game. So I will first action take wood. Four wood if it's available, if not something else. The one thing that I won't do is I definitely will not build wood rooms. If I'm going to build any rooms, it will be clay or stone. The downside of stone rooms is I have to reno twice and I have to have enough reed to pay for them. So that's like a bunch of actions away. Uh, cattle came out early. That's good to be aware of. Four wood for me. The thing is, if I renovate to clay, that's a major improvement. I could build the cooking hearth on that action, and that would mean that I have that I'm spending clay without generating it on this round. If so, if I don't day labor this round and I build the cooking hearth, I could do that. That's an option. The other thing is, Bricklayer saves me two clay per clay room. I just remembered that. I don't know how I forgot about it until just now. But I can build three clay, two reed rooms, which is pretty cheap. Especially when I get three clay per round from the day labor space. Which I pretty much want to do anyways, every, any, uh, every round anyways. So, yeah. This is a hard one. A lot of different options available, so it's hard to know which one is the best one. Um, so Lady in Waiting is going to build her rooms and grow her family here. So should I contract build? If I want to contract build and grow ahead of her, that means I need to start player action. Um, but I could always just contract build and not grow ahead of her. Like I don't need to. That's not something I have to do. And then maybe that means I get two cattle, for example, and I could start breeding cattle. Like if I contract build, build two rooms and two stables. That's an op that's something I could do right now. Waiting, waiting, playing minor paintbrush. I wish I had that. 
way of using all my clay. Um, yeah, I think I'm passing on the wood to get reed because I think I want to reno with this action. Because if I am going to contract build, I want to contract build and build uh, clay rooms. Me as well. Okay, Ray Krabs is having a nice game in that he's getting a lot of food per turn, but like compared to what the rest of us are going to be able to do, like our scores are absolutely skyrocketing with every action. Like this this action is going to get me so many points. Um cooking hearth or stone oven. Um let's build the stone oven. Why not? I can afford it. So pay for all. I save two clay and I get a wood and a food. And I get FF powerhouse. just stupid it's really just stupid what I want now is I want someone to play that uh, gold mine card day labor two food plus two resources I'll do it first action every round I don't care I, I would totally do that Dung Collector for Lady in Waiting. Nice. I'm actually surprised it made its way almost all the way back here. Actually, I'm, a, I'm surprised that Animal Husbandry Worker got to her. I love that card. I guess Joe took uh, Fence Deliveryman first, eh? Because then he got Acrobat with his last pick, I think. I think those two were the same pile. What did Ray... Did Ray take Indentured Servant really early? I'm not sure. A hard one to uh not totally sure how all that would have worked out let's grab wood wood is good Okay, so we're just waiting on Ray Krabs. I wonder if he's thinking about start player. He would like Plow So and uh, Family Growth. Both actions would be quite good for him. Um, I'm thinking about my feeding right now. So if I paid 16 food to build two rooms, um, I would have four left, of course, and then I could eat a clay for six food. 
and then my feeding in this harvest doesn't require an additional action. Uh, alternatively, I could build some stables and eat a sheep. I think though, I don't want to eat my sheep because if I eat my sheep, that means I'm not, uh, I have to do another action to take sheep for points. And at this point in the game, I don't want to do that. I'd rather be doing my day labor cooking hearth combo than just taking a two point sheep action or a three point sheep action even. So probably I'm not going to be able to breed sheep. So just uh, doing, um, doing simpler actions is easier. I could grab fishing. Fishing would be three stables for me. So that's three points. So I could do that. Joe did plow, okay. Gravy on the cake. That's what it was. Nathan said gravy on the cake. Um, that's very silly. He says some ridiculous stuff. Um, Lady waiting takes cattle. Okay. So I could build cooking hearth here, but I think what I do is I'm going to do this and then contract build. Yep. Oh, I could build more than two rooms. Hmm. What if I built more than two rooms? Because I'm gonna have the stone I have no further use for stone except for renovating. I'm sitting with five stone in my supply already. So any extra stone would just be points to reno with. Hmm. That might be an option. in waiting playing minor Madonna statue probably removing woodsaw and bookmark this is a card that's caused a lot of problems <laughs> because of the fact that it lets you get rid of minor get rid of improvements which a lot of some improvements like the really strong ones will give you like a limitation on what you can do uh, so I have 26 and I'm going to spend 22, so I'm left with four. I do two rooms and uh, three staples. Four food clay to feed and get two food from powerhouse. So the reason I was able to do that without spending resources, I'll just highlight this card again. Contract Builder. Uh, this is a card that I have ranted and raved against <laughs> more than enough times. Uh, it's not as bad now that you can't build stone rooms with it. The real problem was that you could go to a stone, like it was ridiculous when you could go to a stone house and then build a whole bunch of stone rooms and then not need stone to renovate to a stone house like that was too good 
and especially round 14 would be all about who can get the most use out of that space um, like who needs plow so who needs family growth even without room contract builders is the way to go <laughs> So we've got uh, Ray Krebs playing Sunday School and then Joe playing Amusement Park on Reno. Yep. Amusement Park, a free minor. So I do need to be careful. My passive food income is slowing down. So I need to be a bit more careful about making sure I set myself up for the next harvest. But I expect I'll be fine. You know what would be good here? Quarrymen. Quarrymen would be good here. Would make the day labor space a three clay uh, plus food or two food, depending on Kakot, plus major minor space, plus six food. Because Quarrymen can turn the, the quarry resources into six food. Which would be crazy. Ray Krebs gets said. Uh, family growth, that's really good for him. He needed that. Why is there a point on the family growth space? Oh, Sunday school. Okay, yeah. That's all. He's just marking Sunday school. So first action, three wood here for me. If three wood is taken by lady in waiting, I'll plow a field. She does three wood, that's fine. I'll grab a plow. Twelve clay. There's a twelve clay action. <laughs> oh, this game. This game. So next action. I don't want to do two wood when I can day labor cooking hearth. So I'll do that instead. And the great thing is Cooking Hearth doesn't even cost me any clay. I just gain. I just break even. Thanks to uh, Bricklayer. So yeah, next two moves, Day Labor and then Family Growth. I ideally would like to get to um, the max Animal Husbandry spaces. But even if I don't, if I do 12 fences tight, I mean, that's going to be... I have so many points already. I got a real... I drafted a really strong combo. Really strong. So I get a food, food, wood, and three stones. So when I'm minor on family growth, I will play bonfire. It's one wood for one point, which is a fine conversion.
But BTT is saying um, uh, BTT is saying um, Joe just took only food miners. I considered Kakot at third with uh, brick charcoal burner and bricklayer, and uh, got fortunate to get her seventh. And then clay pick Corey fell into my lap, so it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm curious what lady in waiting first picked for her minor, because honestly, what's letting me do this is clay pit. Like clay, the key thing about the major improvements is clay. The stone is nice, but the key thing is clay. So I wonder, um, I wonder if she, like, she probably wasn't even thinking about that combination, but, uh, because she, she did pass me Bricklayer, she did pass me Kakot, and she passed me Clay Pit. I would, may, maybe she needed to block Clay Pit, maybe, but that's a really hard one to say. So I get a wood and a food from Lady in Waiting building um, whatever other thing she built. And this doesn't really matter where it goes. I guess it makes sense if it goes up here. I guess I go up here because then I'm. I, there, it's possible I build more rooms. That I contract build two more rooms. Because I have the stone to do it, that's for sure. And then I could fence those spaces if I want to fence 15. get FF power while I'm thinking about it. So yeah, I'm already up to 10 food for this next harvest already. Uh, pretty good. 10 food including the clay, of course, is what I'm talking about. Yeah, and the fact that growing second fell into my lap, like this is just, this has been a pretty silly game. Pretty silly game. Poor Ray Krabs. <laughs> I mean, he might be beating Lady in Waiting. I don't, he's not beating Joe and he's not beating me. I'm highly skeptical. Although we haven't seen his first pick occupation yet, so. Okay, Ray Krebs plays convict number 24601 in Handmaid. So is he going to first pick take the cattle? That can't be right. But uh, 24601 is nice. Nice six point card here. Joe gets to build some more uh, fences.
two four six zero one classic France deck card. Very e excellent card if you have, uh, if you need to increase your point ceiling. Like if you're just going to run out of points at the end of the game, play it round ten. You get six points and only give up three actions. Really, really good. Um, because, yeah, there's kind of a funny number. The way that points, like if you were to graph the way points from actions convert. So your first action where you go from minus one to one is really good value because you're getting two points for one move. And, but then usually to go from one to two or one to three in a scoring category or two to four, that's often a lot more work. Um, so if you graph that, it would be kind of uh, interesting, I think. Um, so Renault Fence is still available and only Joe is likely to be able to take it. So I think this move is like that. Oh, and he, he family growth ahead of me to go up to five. That's fine. I don't mind. I can family growth last action in the last round and play Golden Rose, I guess. Ray Krebs playing Cattle Market. Oh, and the other card he played is a Handmaid, sorry. Is on Star Player, yep, okay. So he is in a spot where he can, uh, he can Family Growth with Miner as well. So uh, Reno Fence, I have to assume, will be blocked by Joe. So that means I need to fence with this next move. Assuming Lady in Waiting does not. She might. She might fence here. When did she play Dung Collector? Was she not able to trigger Dung Collector before the last harvest? Well, she'll notice if she notices. I don't need to point it out. She probably played it after then. Um, so, yeah. Joe is at five people. Lady in Waiting can still afford to family growth. Yeah, so I need defense here. That is totally fine. And I play fence like this to grab all of the... Um, people, all of the points from uh, Animal Husbandry Worker. And Handmaid is useless because <laughs> Ray just does family growth even without room. That's fine, but I mean that's fine with me because I'm happy to do that as well. What I would love, I would love if I could contract build two more rooms and then, um, and then Reno, but the, just with the way start player has worked out, I have to assume I'm going to get blocked out of that action. So I will Reno with my last action this round, unless Joe or lady does, if Joe or lady do, uh, does that, then I'm fine. I should remember that Stonebreaker is in this draft, I think. Stonebreaker, of course, being the occupation that lets you go to, uh, to a stone house. Two point uh, grain action. So if they reno, I sow. If they, uh, if they don't, then I'll, I'm fine with, uh, um, doing reno here.
Yeah, what I kind of want to see Lady in Waiting do is eat all her animals and then build rooms and then run into a big stone house. Because, like, two boar and a sheep is a room, and then one cattle and two sheep is another room. So. But she might be doing reno improvement here. Yeah, if she is, okay, that's fine. So now I want to do something that gets me a bunch of food. Um, and actually, there's not that much that gets me a bunch of food. But I will so bake. Because then I can play Golden Rose in the last round. Yeah, if I could contract build one more time, that would be ideal. So, if I could, uh, I could eat a vegetable, a sheep. I probably it's probably not worth eating a sheep. Stone room is three points, because you get two points for the room and one point for removing the negative. So, it would be debatable whether it would be worth it or not. Like I would have to do the math. But yeah, it's an option. I am sitting at six food at the moment. You know what? I could take read. I can take read and then go on the build room space. Yep. Yep. Lady in waiting can block a uh, build room, but if she builds stables, but if she does that, she loses out on animal husbandry worker points. So uh, I think I'm fine with that. Now, okay, I should do the quick math on this. Okay, so I take reed, I go on build room, I go on reno, and I take clay. Probably clay would be the last action. So that would be um, one, two, so it'd be three, three points. So it'd be six points that I'm gaining from two actions compared to just taking cattle and just taking boar. Now the thing is it does leave me a little vulnerable that uh, means I can't do uh, family growth, actually. Take read, build room. It would mean that I don't take clay at the end, yeah. So it is costing me some stuff. You know what, I'll play, I'll play safe then. I think that's fine. I would have a bigger ceiling if I build more rooms. Veggie lover is a one point move. So if I get boar, this is definitely the way to go. If I don't get boar, then it's more debatable. Then I've probably left points on the table. Yeah, it's hard to say. Hard to say. Guys, someone do the math for me. Lay this out. Okay. My two options for my round 14 are cattle, boar, reno, family growth, uh, golden rose. Okay. So that's two, four. I'll do the math myself. Two, four, um, five, five. 
so I would gain 14 points in the final round. And I would have to eat um, a vegetable. Um, I'd probably have to eat a clay, a vegetable, and a grain. So I'd have to eat one point. Oh, there's con there's contract builder block blocked by Ray. Um, so I'd have to eat uh, so eat one point, so it would be net plus thirteen points. Alternatively, I could have done take a uh, read, build a room, and then reno. So that would be uh, plus six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirteen. On reno, I can play golden rose, and then I would be left with family growth or um, three clay. So then to feed, I would have to eat two raw grain, um, a clay, and four food, which I could do. That's allowed as well. I could have done that. So what would that have been? That would have been... That would have only been 13 points that I gained. So I think this is, the, this is better. I think I might have gained one more point doing this. Lady in waiting saying, I should have built round six. I couldn't figure out what the heck Joe was doing. Joe playing landscape gardener, getting a um, a sow action out of it. That's nice. Means he gets a ton of crop points. Uh, Lady in waiting played zoo director, which is going to be worth some points as well. Joe says, I'm not sowing one of the grain. Okay. Whatever you want, Joe. So yeah, so okay, sorry. I was doing the math here. So either way, I'm going to reno. So I shouldn't double count the rooms. Oh, you know what? I double counted the rooms when I was doing my math. I counted the stone rooms twice. Yeah. So yeah, so this way has been better as far as I can tell. I'm just going to do my two last moves. So I need to eat um four four food um clay that's six two g so i have to eat a veggie yeah which is a point so veg clay two g and two f I think I beat Joe just because I built every every major. But 
but uh, not totally sure. Hard to, hard to say, because I do have some minuses, and I don't have the crops or the animal points that he does. And he has more fields. So he has a couple more points than I do in some places. Ray Krebs ends with 51. Wow, that's super respectable for how terrible that farm looks. So let's look at my score. I score 57 plus 259. I'm not sure if I beat Joe. 50 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He might have bred some points. What does Joe score? Only 54. I got really lucky in this game to have this combination fall in my into my lap. I don't think Joe included an animal tamer, unless he had to eat some points. What's his score? 50. One, two, three. Yeah, he forgot Animal Tamer, so I'm counting him 56. So 56. Lady in Waiting has 47. I have 59. And uh, Ray Krebs, 51. So, yeah, that was a pretty ridiculous game. Um, the fact that growing what I did fell into my lap. Yeah, I like, I mean, I, I just, I had an excellent game. I had a pretty ridiculous combination. Um, oh, did I never send that? Ray, let's look at Ray's points. So he has 43 plus six and so 43 plus 8, yep. This is a 43-point farm here. Hmm. I guess he's got Basket Maker's Workshop. No, no negatives. Yeah, okay. I mean, my farm, this is 57 plus 2 bonus points. Yikes. Yikes! So, yeah, good one for me. Um... Yeah, I guess the key thing about building a room at the end there would mean because it would be, would have been it would have turned my eight clay into two clay, and or nine clay into three clay, and then it would have gotten given me four points as compensation, so it'd be a plus two point move. But the thing is, the read action would not have been a plus point move, so that's where the two point difference comes from. I think. Mm. I don't know. It's hard to do the math. I can't keep it all straight how the different things would have worked out at the end. I could have built two more rooms. That was an option. I probably still would have won. Unless, I, if I take read and get blocked out of build room, maybe I don't win, actually. It's possible. But I got cattle and boar, which was lucky. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, that was silly. Charcoal, I mean, Charcoal Burner is one of the best cards. Brick Layer, Kakot, it, Quarry, Clay Pit is a silly combo. The fact Powerhouse Quarry is a, is a great combo too. Like, yeah. So the major, so my plate improvements, Clay Pit, Fireplace, Quarry, Fireplace, Well, Pottery, Clay Oven, Stone Oven, Cooking Hearth. Like one, like how many points did I get from improvements? 20? One, two, three, four, five, nine, 14, 16, 19, 
21 points from improvements, including my bonus three from the pottery. Plus one from bonfire, so 22 points. Yep, that's good. Anyways, um, I thought I had maybe screwed up the draft. And I, you know what? I still may have. I still may have screwed up the draft, but it, I think it probably doesn't matter because I just the combo I had was going to be unbeatable. In anything other than an early family growth game or an early game where people were focusing on majors, I probably had just an unbeatable combination. So, yep, lucky for me. So, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to play another one. I'm uh, going to go do something else. So, I might stream another video later, depending on how late I want to stay up. I'll probably play tomorrow probably stream tomorrow at some point so look out for that um, otherwise thank you very much for watching this little video or hope you enjoyed this little video thank you very much for watching um, yeah see you guys later